everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Mark and I'm the mediocre modeler and today episode of model cars and coffee hosted by Paul over at left coast model car builds um, anybody I mentioned in this video I'm gonna leave a link in the description but I want to thank each and every one of you for watching the videos subscribing to my channel and commenting I'm a little behind on the commenting because I'm doing a uh, patio in my backyard but uh, that's coming along pretty good uh, when it's done I'll take a picture of it and show you guys um, so I want to thank each and every one of you toast that's coffee that's not booze <laughs> um, so, let me turn you around, and I'll show you what's going on. So, I got this video late, up late, because um, I, I was got all set up, and I was ready to go, and I turned on my camera, and, and it started recording, and actually, it wasn't recording. I got a little note saying, not enough battery life, <laughs> so I had to recharge my battery. So, anyways, this is getting in here a little bit late by... Uh, uh, technically, it's still breakfast time and morning on the uh, left coast. <laughs> uh, so this is a 1940 Ford that I'm rebuilding as part of a tribute to one of our members of our model club that passed away. Um, so I got this kit from a grab bag, part of his stash. And, uh, you know, you made a donation. You get a couple of his, uh, you know, built up kits. So the club challenge is to like rebuild one of his models. So this is the first time I attempt to rebuild a uh, model. So that that's pretty cool in itself. But I have a 1937 Ford pickup truck right there that I entered into Mars Garage Rust Bucket Group Build. And I have an update coming up on that, but not at this point. So you ask why, you know, why these two kits? Well... When I was taking, let me move this one up. When I was taking this one apart, uh, some of the parts wouldn't come apart. So I just, and rather than break them, uh, I just left them together. So um, the engine wouldn't come detached from the drive shaft. So let me take that off and I'll show you. But here here this comes around i'll show you this first and then i'll take the wood off and so this trick i learned from uh, old tom ramble of 69 watching one of his videos so i got walnut maple or maple walnut maple walnut maple walnut on the uh, bed i'm gonna when i uh, i'm gonna use that to refurbish the bed and that's gonna be pretty cool i have uh the rest of the parts in this tupperware and i had put it down you know um i don't know i just it kind of stalled a little bit and so i started working on the rust bucket group build and that's also part of the terry thacker tribute build because i'm building a diorama of his card card shop card you know <clears throat> excuse me and so I started looking through these parts, and this kit obviously comes with a surfboard. And on the sprue, you get this extra drive shaft. So I cut this off, and I said, hmm, I'm going to check under here to see if it fits. And let me take this off. and lo and behold it, it's pretty close all right and i was like oh well it's pretty close i go uh what about if i take this and swap out the chassis and the engine from this kit you know put the uh, custom kit on the chassis and i anyways i started looking at the uh the chassis and this thing fits perfect right under these, underneath this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the custom 
part of this, the chassis and the engine, and I'm going to put it under this body. And then <clears throat> I'm going to take the body of this one, and I already started rusting it up like the frame. And so I'm going to do uh, a swap -a you know. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I'm doing two tributes at one time, and uh, so I thought that was pretty cool, and, uh, you know, I hope you follow along. It's going to be fun for me, and, uh, you know, I'm glad to participate in this community. It's a lot of fun. So have a great week ahead, people. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and uh, peace out.